this video, you'll learn how to add skips and correctly bookend unended skips. So I've got some data open already here. And the first thing that I notice is that in this area, right around oh, starting measure 7800 or so and ending in measure 14523, that I have a gap in the data. Yet when I move my mouse and look down at the map closely here, when I move my mouse back and forth along here, I see that the pointer on the map is still moving along with my mouse. And so what that tells me is that there's data there, it's just not being displayed on the graph. I have the same problem further along in this graph, right around measure 93,000, where it's doing the same thing. If I move nice and slowly, I can see that the mouse pointer is moving back and forth as well. What this tells me is that there's data there, but that a skip was initiated right here, somewhere around here, and then the skip was ended right around here. Well, this is obviously way too much data to be skipped for an actual skip. It's probably a mistake where a skip was started and it was never ended. Again, the way that I know this is that the data isn't being displayed on the graph, and that's intentional because it's a skip. Yet, when I move the mouse along, I see that the pointer is moving as well. So let me zoom in here a little bit on this particular section. In fact, let me zoom in on just this part right here. So if I move my mouse pointer to the uh, beginning of this giant skip and then hold down on the control key and left click, it will highlight this particular data. If I scroll over here, I see that a skip was started. What the system is looking for is just the word skip. As soon as it sees the word skip, um, in almost any format, it assumes that this is where a skip starts, and then the next time that it sees a skip, the word skip in the data, it assumes that the skip has ended. Let me zoom back out, and this time I will zoom in on the other end of that giant gap. Hold down Control, left click, and I see in the data here that there's another skip. So these skips look like, again, they've been started, but they haven't been ended. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is add a skip at the beginning and the end so that I basically bookend this particular area. To do that, all I have to do is choose where I want the skip. So I'm going to move this so a few measures down, um, sort of looking at the map and making a judgment call based on where the skip ought to begin or end. Actually, let me zoom back out just a little bit because that was kind of too far. So let's say that I want to add the skip a few measures beyond. All I have to do is move my mouse pointer down, right click on the map, choose add comment, and again the system is looking for the word skip. So I'm going to choose to call this SM for survey manager skip end just so that I know that it was added by Survey Manager and that it's an end skip instead of a start skip. So when I submit that, I'll get an out of sync notification. Let me refresh this survey and we'll see that it looks a little bit funky, but that's because I need to end the skip as well. Or rather end the, the uh, other end. So let me move this along a little bit here. I'll choose to add another comment, SM skip and submit. Again, the survey will be out of sync because I added a comment. And if I refresh it, I should see a perfect representation of my data here. And um, But I haven't fixed this one over here yet. So that's something I could do later on, but I just wanted to show you guys how to um, bookend a skip. Now, if you um, that's one scenario where a skip was started but never ended. Another one might be in a location where a skip should be, but that it was never done. So let me zoom in over here. And we've got a road over here, and I don't see any skip. So let's presume that I needed to add a skip here. This is just for demonstration purposes. T to do that, just add a skip. Hold down the Alt key, left click, and drag until you're on the other end of the skip. And then just choose, when let go of the left mouse button, and then choose set as skip. It's going to ask if I want to confirm that this is a skip. And now it has been skipped. 
So the data is no longer showing in the graph. And if I control click down in the table, I should see a comment that says start SM skip. And if I move a few rows down, I see end SM skip. That's how to correct unended skips and how to add new ones.